Hey, 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 everyone, my name is Nolan, and welcome back to another episode inside of the Terraria Calamity mod. And today, we are going to be taking down Supreme Calamitous. At least, we are going to try to. Um, I don't think I'm going to beat it right away. It's probably going to take me a couple days to beat, um, so this episode might be a bit delayed. But I am recording it the next day from when the other episode was uploaded, and... Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to it other than I'm taking off the Adsgars of Jis because um, I don't think that dashing will be necessary at all, um, and I should just be able to avoid things nice and easily. In fact, dashing might actually end up screwing me over, and also I'm going to use the Drew's wings over anything else. So I need to make sure everything here... No, that's not warding. So I need to make here everything warding because... Um, I think that's just going to be the best bet for surviving this fight. I'm kind of going more with survivability over anything else. So, yeah, and also I'm just going to see which weapons work best. I think Subsuming Vortex or Vivid Clarity will work best. And then also I got Candles from the Drunk Princess. That was a comment from... I don't actually remember. Um, let me check really quick. Okay, yeah, it was a comment from Nova. So, as you guys may or may not know, I don't really know, um, the arena for this fight is going to be very simple. And actually, um, I'm going to have to destroy some platforms here really quick because, uh, yeah, I don't need platforms. Because basically, this boss creates an arena for you. So, let's just clear out all these platforms really quick here, and I'll save... I'll save those down there. As you guys can see, this is where I fought Devourer of Gods, in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, this this uh, this uh horrible monstrosity of gravestones should be more than enough evidence that I have suffered greatly trying to take down the Devourer of Gods. And um, I'm just going to do this. Let's see here. It needs to be, like, I don't know how many. We'll see here. So I'm going to try... Oh, gosh dang it. Why is slime falling from the sky right now? Okay, so course since i have ocd everything here has to be centered so I'll make a campfire too oh can i yes i can place it okay then we'll place down our candles place like two on each side just so everything is nice and symmetrical nice okay and then hopefully this area that i have around oh that's not centered hopefully this area that i have around is um gonna be enough room let's see here let's just look out i think it will be However, I'm going to go over here really quick, and I'll just finish this really quick. Alright, it's time to do this. Okay, I'm going to buff up here. I got a couple extra buffs, or actually just one, the cinnamon roll. And this, uh, I'll show you what it does. It boosts mana regeneration rate and multiplies all fire-based damage debuff by 1.5. Reduces defense by 10%. Um, so it's kind of like uh, you're trading off offense for defense. Which is weird because I said I want to go defense. And I'm just going to try it out, see how well it goes. And if it's too bad then I'll just take it off. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we need the Ashes of Calamity, and then we have this altar of... I don't actually remember what it was called, but we have it. So, all right, here we go. Hopefully the slime stops falling when I summon this in. Yes, it did work. Okay, here we go. Ooh, there he is, bro. All right, so um, dodging these might be kind of difficult for me because I am not, of course, good at this game. And I am talking, so that's kind of like a double whammy. Oh, now they're falling down. Okay. And they do so much damage! Okay, so I have to kill... So I'm actually going to use Yarm's Crystal because I have to kill these things. Oh, wait, he still fires at me. I did not know that, honestly. I guess I probably should have... Wait, why is my mana not regenerating? Uh, do I... <laughs> I'm going to die right away. Oh, gosh. Okay, Um, something's not right here. I think I just need to let this dude kill me. Kill me. Come on. <laughs> oh, let me die. Bro, I'm regenerating too fast. What the heck? Okay, I now have my talisman thing turned on. I had it turned off. Of course I did. Why would I have not had that turned off? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to summon this thing in now. And um, is the arena in? No, it's not yet. Okay, throw this down. I'll go up here, and I'll try and dodge as much of these as I can, but I don't... Wait, did I just kill one, or did I kill something else? I'm so could. Oh, there's so many. This is so much harder than last time. Uh, I'm getting hit way too many times. I'm gonna die instantly, aren't I? Can I heal with this boss? Is that a thing? <laughs> is that even a thing? I think I have to take down these things first anyways. Okay, so this thing doesn't deal contact damage, but everything else does, so... Gotta watch out for everything. Uh, I can just feel the comments cringing at me so hard right now because I'm so bad at this fight. Okay, we got it. So now we can actually deal damage to Supreme Calamitous, right? 
Yes. I'm not dealing damage to Supreme Calamitous, that's for sure. What? Did I miss one? I missed one! Oh, gosh, of course I did. Okay, let's see if I can heal here. I'm definitely going to need to. Okay, I'm gonna die. Or maybe I'm not, because for some reason I survived so long last time. Okay. Gotta heal. Alright. Not good. Not good so far. This fight has been horrible. Alright, let's fall down. Maybe I should utilize the slimy saddle. Okay, let's see here. I don't think I heal. I don't. I think that this boss fight makes me immune to healing. I'm definitely not healing. So, yeah, okay. I think I might as well just go full offense. Okay, so this weapon does about 30,000 DPS. About 25,000, actually. Okay. So, what, what does Subsuming Vortex do? Uh, looks like Vivid Clarity might be the way to go. Oh, except... <laughs> okay, this is horrible. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Okay, so really quickly, I just like to ask you guys, um, for all the Terraria people watching, what would you guys like me to see, or what would you guys like to see me do next? As far, I don't know, as like let's plays go, I think I'd like to resume the Minecraft one um, that I was doing a while ago. So I'm probably gonna resume that. Um, but like Terraria, should I should I do a, this Calamity mod again, but next time Revengeance mode, or should I like move on to like the Soul mod or something? I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments, you guys, if you guys have a preference. Okay, let's be careful here. Okay, so we got Cataclysm and Catastrophe. I don't know which one is which, but I do know that these dudes are pretty difficult. There's just a lot of projectiles to dodge. Ah, uh, there's so many projectiles. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dang it, I actually got there to that phase though. That's decent. Oh, guys, I just realized why the projectiles are disappearing. It's because of that green floaty orb that I don't want. Because it's not actually technically Calamity Mod, it's technically Alchemist NPC. So I feel like technically having it on would be cheating. So I'll have to take that off. I'll take it off after this match. Watch me beat this match. If I beat this match, I'll just trash the treasure bag. But I doubt I'm going to beat this match. Cataclysm, you gonna spawn in? Yeah. Okay, this dude seems to be the more annoying one. I will just say that these new, like, sprites look amazing. I do, like, kind of miss the old classic eye, but they were just copies of the old ones, so, I mean, I kind of like this a lot more. just so many projectiles it's like I can't even I can't even like tell where my where my projectiles are versus where his projectiles are okay you will suffer greatly good I'm glad Watch me beat this right now, there's no way. There's no way I beat this, of course, when I'm cheesing the fight with the projectile d destroyer thingy. Okay, yeah, there's no way I'm beating this. Ain't no way. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm going to assume that these heads do a lot of damage, and I just want to avoid them as much as possible. I'm at 26% though. I, that's honestly pretty good for me. Also, I'm sorry if my keyboard's loud. I want to use this one as opposed to my, my laptop keyboard. We're good though. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna hate myself if I beat it with the with the alchemist thing on. I'll never rest until I beat this legitly. Which technically, I, oh wow, what's this? Okay, I think subsuming vortex might be good for this one. Oh my gosh. Wow! This fight escalated escalated quickly. Okay, I think I took him down. Bro, am I gonna beat this? 
This is this was honestly a lot easier than I was expecting. Okay, we're at 10%. So this is the last bullet hell phase. And it's going to be difficult. Ugh. I think I beat it. One that does to settle, and only one remains. Okay, do I have another one of these things? Yeah, I do. Okay, this part's gonna be hard. Okay, I killed him. No! No! I'm so close! <laughs> I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it, but it's gonna be cheesing it. I have no future if I lose here. Hey, okay, I think I beat it. Where are you at, though? I have no more energy left to resent him or you. It will be all in your hands now. Well, I beat it. Oh. That frosty old man, even if you ignore our brands of magic and our old alliances, I doubt I'd ever get along with him. So what does enchant do? Let's use it on something that I don't use. Okay. Brimstone lo locust. Enhance the power of your equipment. Huh. Okay, can I do it with... uh? Can I do it with the Ark of the Cosmos? The A-Flame. So do I need... Huh, should I do it? Let's do it. I don't know if it changed anything. <laughs> I don't know, man. But we have to redo that fight now. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, turn this thing off. Okay, we have to redo that fight. I have to beat it legitimately. There's an impossible number to dodge. But whatever. What? They're in... Oh my gosh. I, these things just are have a lot of health. I think Yarm's Crystal is like the only way to deal with them. I'm never going to be able to dodge every projectile ever. I'm so bad. What? It's really annoying that those projectiles continue 
when this phase happens. Because I don't know how on earth people dodge all these projectiles. Like, what? It's impossible, bro. It's gotta be. gosh. They're at every square inch of the arena, bro. Every time. Oh my gosh. I keep forgetting about this phase. I don't even know what this phase is, honestly. I just know it's a pain in the booty. But I did it. Alright, last 10% here. We got another worm phase. I'm low on health. Oh, that's a pro that's a projectile. Of course it is. No. Got him. I did it. Ah. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay, I did it legitimately. Okay, I gotta go eat dinner really quick. I'll cut back when I'm done. Alright guys, so I just have one thing to say right now. And that's that if the Calamity developers are watching this, bro, listen. Okay, Supreme Calamitous. It was hard, but it wasn't ridiculously hard. It only took me about an hour. Maybe even like 40-30 minutes because of all the extra recording I did. So, uh, it was decent. It was okay. Honestly, in my opinion, it could have been a tiny, tiny bit harder... But it was a good fight. It was a good fight. I'm only in expert mode, so honestly, good fight. Devourer of Gods. Holy cow. That fight was so hard, like, trying to beat it. It took me six hours of recording, and then I tried to beat it again, and spent, like, another hour, and got one more attempt, like, one more successful win in. So it was hard. So I think that you guys definitely need to, um, make the Devourer of Gods fight easier, because everything after that I was able to beat... Within one day, okay? Um, Devour of Gods took me multiple days. It was so hard. So, yeah. I mean, if anyone ever sees this, I don't know if they will. Devour of Gods needs to be easier. Okay, so we got Supreme Calamitous Trophy. And then we also got the Supreme Calamitous NPC here. Um, and then we are able to enchant things, which is cool. So we have an enchanted... Oh, yeah. See, now there's, like, flames. Nice. Okay. So, I don't know what this is. It's for... Uh, Oh, let's see here. Okay, let's let's just read through all the stuff we got. So, we got the Supreme Calamitous lore. The witch unrivaled, perhaps the only one amongst my cohorts to have ever given me a chance to for doubt. Now that you have defeated her, your destiny's clear. Cla Supreme Calamitous is a girl. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. I was referring to her as a he the whole time. Okay. Twitter, don't cancel me, okay? <laughs> Seriously, I, I thought Supreme Calamitous was a guy, okay. Um, oh, wait, I got two Supreme Calamitous trophies. Holy cow, and I think they're different, too, are they? Wait, is that... Maybe that's not a Supreme Calamitous trophy, is it? 
No, they both are. Okay, so that's weird. Okay, we also got this sword out of the fight. It's called a legendary Sarah Sumat Holy Avenger, um, which it, it gets better as progression continues, I guess. And it looks sick. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything special to it. Okay, I don't know. So yeah, cool. We got Supreme Cataclysm. Oh, so these are like the trophies you get from the the bosses. Okay, so cool. That's everything out of the way. So Brimstone Locust. Not only can I enhance your equipment with this potent magic, I can also draw out the true strength and ascend. Some of your weaponry to entirely new forms. Such items are revealed while this item is in your inventory. Okay. So... I don't know, maybe you guys will have to let me know what those are, I guess, because uh, I really don't want to go through and try and figure out what all that is. So, we got two treasure bags from the Supreme Calamitous Fights, so we're going to see what we get. Alright, so, Brimstone Jewel, equipable, the ultimate reward for defeating such a beast. Who knew she'd be so darn cute? I don't think that Supreme Calamitous was that cute. I don't know what this thing does, so we'll look at that in a minute. Quiet Calamity, equipable. Lights your cursor ablaze with the witch's flame, summoning a burning sigil around it. Enemies touching the sigil take immense damage, are inflicted with in, in, with vulnerability hex. Equip in a vanity slot to change the cursor without dealing damage. That's cool. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like the color of the mouse would change, or the there would be like flames around the mouse. So if I actually put this on, oh, it doesn't work on this though. So maybe if I get a super dummy, it'll work. Oh, yeah. Dang, that does pretty good damage, too. Holy cow. Nice. Okay, so next up is the Keen... Okay, let's take this off. Next up is the Keen Vigilance, which is a summon weapon. Oh, that's cool. It's like a weird eye thingy. Nice. I just realized I did something weird. Okay, um, next up is... Wow. Vehemence. 15,000 magic damage. Holy cow. So, <laughs> let's let's test this thing out, bro. Let's te test out the behemoth here. Wait, I'm confused. What does it even do? Wait, is it just like a... <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Okay, uh, maybe is there a weapon description? Direct hits inflict... Okay, cast intense bolts of hellish power that explode into skulls. But that's not what you did. Oh. Oh wait, yes it does. But it doesn't explode into skulls. Am I using it wrong? <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, this is weird. Okay, next up is the Taboo Hers Hersey. Which uh, releases fire and souls upward from a held book. Okay, as the book is held, the power increases. Okay. This thing does a lot of damage. Okay, so it just, like, casts out a ton of spells. That's sick. Wow. Oh, so it's a material, too. Interesting. So, like, the longer I hold it down, the more powerful it becomes, basically. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, next up is... Calamity? I think we've already... Yeah, we've already done that. Um, Mighty Sacrifice, which is a rogue weapon. Nice. Ooh, it like sticks on. Cool. Um, Ashes of Annihilation, and that's it. Cool. So, we have to make Shadow Spec bars now. But here's what I might do. I'm gonna save that for next episode, okay? Um, actually... Nah, we'll just fin <laughs> we'll finish the series now. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, so I'm gonna deposit everything that is a crafting material um so actually i'm just gonna deposit if i don't need it either so ashes of calamity go in um where's my vehemence did i already i really hope i didn't trash that today <laughs> please tell me i still have it vehemence Vah oh yeah okay so is that a material no it's not all right okay so let's see here we gotta make some uh shadow spec bars so Sh let's see here, shadow spec bars. What do I need here? Okay, I think I'm out of orc bars. Let's let's see here. Shadow spec bars. How many of these can I craft? Um, why aren't they on here? Spec. Okay, 
For some reason, it just doesn't come up sometimes. So right now, I can make three of them because of the auric bars. So, okay, auric bar. How many of you can I make? Okay. All right, I can make a ton of these. Okay, let's make a ton of them. Never mind, I can make 13. So, what can I... Let's see here. How many shadow spec bars do I need to make a cool weapon? So, shadow spec bars. I can only make, like, 10 of them. Okay, so I can make two weapons then, and then I need to go fight the Exomex. So actually, I, I, I've decided, okay, I am gonna make another part to this, okay, that'll be the final part, and in that part, we are going to um, uh, beat the Exomex again, and we're gonna craft all the endgame weapons, but just for your satisfaction, we'll make another weapon right now, so let me see here, which one should I make here? I think I want to make the Dance of the Light, because it looks freaking sick, doesn't it? Come on, doesn't it look sick? I think I'm gonna make it. So, Dance of Light. So, Dance of Light. That's my storage. Okay. Dance of Light. Okay. So, I need Sky Fracture and Wrath of Ancients. What are you from? Necromancer. Okay. But I can make a Sky Fracture, right? Sky Fracture? No. Okay. Can I... Can I buy a magic... Uh, can I make a magic whistle, please? Please. Uh, I think... Okay, we're going to have to go to the dungeon, and we're going to have to get some of these weapons. Okay, guys, I now have everything I need to make it. So, let's see here. It was called Dance of the Light, right? Um, Wait. What? I just... Oh, I... It, I got a magic missile, not a sky fracture. I was so confused there. Okay, sky fracture, craft, and magic missile. Or no, dance of the light. So light. Let's we'll just look up light. Dance of the light. Yes, we can craft it. Boom. That is one weapon now. Okay, so let's see here. How good is this weapon? Okay, wait. What does it do? Wow. Performs a combo of sweet. Wait, that's the wrong one. Um, barrages enemies into a hailstorm of light blades. Okay. Oh, this is sick. I know this is going to be amazing, isn't it? Yeah, about 100,000 DPS. Nothing too special. Yeah, this thing is sick. This is exactly what I think a Dance of the Light would look like. Okay, wait. Does it home? That's the real question here. Let's see here. Does it home? No, it doesn't. That's alright. Okay, so we can make one more magic weapon. So, what should I make? Well, let's find out here. So... Um, I want to make the rainbow party, honestly. I think I'm going to make that. So, I need the confetti cannon. And I think that's from the party girl. Let's find out. Okay. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so now all I need is flask of party. And I'm pretty sure that I need to get confetti. I'll just grab a ton of confetti. I don't even know. Then I need to get a flask station from the witch doctor, which is in the jungle. Okay, I'll cut back when that's done. Okay, of course, I already had a flask computing station, so... I don't even know if that's what it's called. Whatever whatever it's called, I don't know. Okay, flask of party. So, let's see here. Flask of party. Okay. Yes, for... Oh, I need more party thingies. Okay. Alright, craft this. Now, let's see here. Cannon. Okay. Why don't you come up? Cannon. There it is, right there. Rainbow party cannon. Souls of light. Again! I am missing the Souls of Light. I really wish I could just buy these. I probably can, but I don't know how. Okay, so now I should have everything. Just had to buy some confetti really quick. And we can make it. The Rainbow Party Cannon. Alright, let's see how this thing performs. Okay. Fly up here. Let's test it out on the dummies. Whoa! Whoa! Holy cow! Like 300 DPS, 400,000 even. Okay, wow. So... So it, like, shoots out. Okay, so do I have to, like, aim it? Oh, okay, so yeah, and then when it hits blocks, it explodes into Meganus. This is crazy, bro, okay. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. If you want to see the last part, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the notifications so you guys get notified when that comes out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of farming off camera, get what I can. And we'll do Supreme Calamitous and the Exomex again on camera. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.